<laughs> From your Uncle Sam and Katia. <laughs> Katia said you couldn't stop thinking about it. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. someone.
Archie, hi. I'm sorry I didn't say goodbye, old bean. A pig of a day. My father's correspondence. Look, Archie, I need to catch a train to a place up north called Wakefield. Do you know of it? Oh, good man. <laughs> My uncle, yes. Well, I, I think she's still there. No, I'd prefer to do this. God knows I need a change of scene. In the morning, shall we say 11 a.m.? Splendid. See you at 10, Archie. Do you smoke? Occasionally, yes. The Monte Cristo Linear 1935 Dumas, or if I'm roughing it, the Camacho Corojo. It's a first-generation Cuban seed, Honduras. And you? Tom! Oh my god! Calm down, dear cousin. <laughs> Look, is there some place we can go? I want to speak with you alone, away from unwelcome ears. I believe you're actually here. Neither can I. What is this place? Smith's Pond. It's a nature reserve. Tad used to fish here all the time. Mm. Very civilised for northern folk, I must say. <laughs> Sorry about my flatmates. They're okay, really. Kieran gets a bit neurotic whenever someone who looks half normal appears at the front door. Oh, really? If I'd have known you were coming... You'd have I... baked me a cake. Oh. I could have met you at a cafe, or... How did you find me? I mean, I only moved in a few days ago. Have you spoke to Dad, then? Yes, this morning in person. He did come to the funeral, but I didn't get the chance to speak with him. Anyway, my DCI cousin, yesterday I found a letter sent from your father to mine just before he fell ill. Your father was asking for financial assistance. For you, in fact. What? I don't need any help. Certainly not family handouts. What did Dad say exactly? 
this morning? Nothing much. He seemed quite startled, to be honest with you, seeing me. <laughs> I asked him about your address, but he only knew the street name. He said you had heated words. Ever since he found out I got into uni, he's been acting weird. You're much better off out of that place. So, come on then, how did you track me down seamlessly? I had to knock on a few doors, highly demeaning. Yours was the only place where all the curtains weren't drawn and someone actually answers the door. Anyway, enough of that. In his letter, Sam stated that you were starting university. What a surprise. Ha ha, I'm not as stupid as you think. I Just... mean that he finally had the nerve to put it in writing. Years of those tiresome charades on the family holidays. Everyone could see he was asking for handouts from my father. I'm sorry, but it's true. Anyway, it's uncanny timing, don't you think? Considering nobody knew of his sudden decline. God, I'm so embarrassed. Anyway, your father liked showing off his flamboyant wealth in front of us. Especially when he was rolling drunk. God, <laughs> this place really is a cesspit, Katya. A nature reserve, you say? It's a step up from your student bedsit, mind. We weren't all born with a silver spoon in our mouths, Tom. It's true. But you really should come to Chelsea Waterfront soon. Claydon House is my new Look, hope. look. The heaven, see? And there's two of them, you know. Thrilling. It's a bird, Katya. Tell me, are you really going to give this Springwatch commentary all day? Sorry about your father, Tom. Dad said it was a lovely service. Yes, well, <laughs> the vicar loved himself a little too much for my liking, but yes. Not bad as these droll affairs go. Could have done with you, though. Yeah, uh, about that. Look, I wanted. To... Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Funerals were never your thing, Katya. There was your Auntie Jane, your mother's brother, Evan. Even at eight years old, you knew your own mind. The clumsiest thing there was with four limbs. But you made a stand. You've got to admire that, cousin. So, what do you want to talk about? Why have you dragged yourself all this way to endure this cesspit? My father's will. He left you a little something. Nothing to do with your father's letter, mind. Why would he leave anything to me? Family funerals are bullshit, aren't they? All those things they couldn't say to him when he was alive, they suddenly blurt out this sanctimonious, odious dribble. <laughs> Quite frankly, nauseating and thoroughly annoying. At least I knew the real him. We had a mutual understanding. He didn't care for me and I thoroughly hated him. We all could see how much he loved you. All show. His grotesque guise. Part of me wanted to believe that when he saw us playing together, he actually did love me. On those happy family get-togethers. A world away from behind closed doors. For what it's worth, I still think about those holidays we spent together. We used to laugh so hard, played them all together. Grow up, Katya! Innocence wasn't bliss. What did you mean? Behind closed doors? Nothing, nothing. Does this path go all the way around? Tom, I want to know. Do you? You want to know that I'm glad he's dead? 
No, I'm not glad. I'm angry. I'm angry that I wasn't there during those last vital moments of his dwindling reign. It would have been most satisfying to watch him die. Did he... Did he hurt you? Only when he drank. The problem was that that was often and to excess. The beatings got worse as I got older. Sometimes he'd use his stick. Sometimes he'd wait until I was asleep. Toughened me up. For my own good, he said. Well, it certainly did that. I'm so sorry. Well, don't be. I had ample opportunity to destroy it or lose it. And half the time he didn't know what time of day it was. But something held me back. I would just stare at it, defying it. Sorry's for fools, Katya. It's just life. Do you want to know what my dear father's left you? What? That old pendulum clock I got trapped in? <laughs> well, yes, my dear sweet northern cousin. That item was left expressly for you. <laughs> Along with an old Chinese tea set you used to play with. It has a few chips, but it should fetch at about 45 quid at a decent auction house. You came all this way to tell me I'd inherited an You old will clock also receive two and a half million pounds. chips China. <laughs> Open it. As executor of my father's will, I am here to inform you that the sum of two and a half million pounds <laughs> will be transferred to a bank account of your choice. Or I can instruct a banker's draft. If... <laughs> You're right. You do have a bank account? Yes. Good. Now, do you think we can head back? I have a train to catch. Tom? Chop, chop. Or most certainly be mugged. To question me. You don't even live here anymore. Nice. I moved out, Dad. It happens. Why do we have to fall out?
What won't I believe? Hmm? Thinking you've got one of these? Although, I suspect yours had some slightly better news than mine, eh? Dad, please. What did he leave you? You know what he left me? After all these years. My dear, filthy fucking rich brother. Enough, Dad. You're drunk. That's just it. It ain't enough. Two lousy paintings that aren't worth shit. you my amazing news. That you'd be happy for me. Congratulations are in order. Me daughter is rich. You said you'd never drink again, Dad. You promised. Your mother promised she'd never leave me. Well, she did. Cheers. What do you have to look so sad about? No more debt for you, that's for sure. You'll get your fancy degree. Probably move down south. You won't stay in this shithole. Why are you so bitter, Dad? All you care about is this stupid money. You even use me going to university to get money from him. Did he tell you he came this morning? Yes. But he didn't tell you he gave me this, did he? You know, he presented it with a wonderful smile. The smile in the satin, but with straight in eye. The final, fuck you! Tom has done nothing wrong. Did he tell you that your alcoholic brother beat him regularly? Probably while you were laughing is disgusting, drunken jokes. What? Lost for words, Dad. Nothing to say on that one. It worked my place. Place? Tom. I, I couldn't Your be. Nephew. Your nephew? How long, Dad? Did you catch him? Did he tell you? How long have you known? I didn't. I didn't do anything. All these years and you did nothing. No, no. You don't understand. Don't I? You're right, Dad. There's nothing left for me here. The gambling, the drinking, even the sordid affairs Mother forgave you for. But this... Go ahead. Knock yourself out. This time I won't be around to pick up the pieces. You're looking at me and I'm falling Chasing time Wondering why things just can't be But I have to be real now Have to face it all